And I'm excited to take the next few minutes, the next three and a half hours and share some information with you. I'm joking. Don't, don't hang up. Don't click off. Right. It's going to be a very brief overview, not for three hours. I promise you my goal is the next 20 to 30 minutes to share some information with you um, that I'm excited about. I'm excited about this more than anything I've ever done in my entire life. And there are people that are on this zoom, whether you're watching live or on replay, for one of a couple, one of a few reasons. Number one, maybe you have no interest at all. You're just on here to, to get some information and to support someone that you know, you love, you care about, you respect. And that says a lot about you. That's amazing. You know that person will do the same thing for you. And we know that not everything is for everyone. And if you're like me, I don't like to be pressured. And so I'm not going to pressure other people. And so you're on here just to support a friend or a family member or you know, uh, a business friend, that's amazing. The second group of people, you're on here because you heard about the ability to be able to generate some additional revenue, some additional income. Maybe you're looking for a career change. I'm gonna highlight that very briefly. Some of you are on here, you've heard about uh, the technology we're gonna talk about. And so my goal is over the next few minutes, just to share a little bit of that information with you, give you a high level overview, that if it sounds good to you, then what you can do is you can get back to the person that invited you. They can show you how to set up a free account. Once you set up that free account, they can show you where you click on share and their videos doing a lot better job on the different projects than I will do. But my main thing is just to have a conversation with you this afternoon on what I saw and what I do see with these projects. Now, before I show you the, a few slides, let me just tell you, um, and oh, the other part is that there's quite a few of you also that are on here, like many of you. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but I knew I was created for more. I believe that we're created in the image of our creator. We're designed for success. And then the world wants to program us for failure. And so I knew I was created for more. I wanted to make an impact in the community and I would have loved to make an impact in the world, but I'm like, man, how am I going to impact the world if I can't even impact my own community? So I was looking for a way to be able to do that. And I've been blessed to do some great things in business. My wife and I, we've had franchises. Uh, we were in the direct sales and network marketing profession for 28 years and built teams of hundreds of thousands of people that did over a half a billion in revenue. I've done affiliate marketing. I've done speaking, training, been blessed to, to now be a best-selling author. And so I say that to say this, I've never really felt like I can make a major impact not just in my community, not just in my country, but the world until now. And so if that's you, if you're like, hey, look, I would love to make a living, but I would love to make a difference. I would love to make an impact. I would love to do something that really makes a difference in the world. I'm gonna share with you what I saw here in just a second. And I've also got some notes to help keep me on track as well. So let me tell you how all this started. Six or seven months ago, a friend of mine, Tony Swantek, and I've known Tony for quite some, some time, I knew he had done well, didn't know how well, until I flew out. He flew me out to meet with him to talk about training some of his companies. And as I'm sitting down with Tony, and he's like sharing with me that his accounting firm did $10 billion in the last two years. $10 billion with a B. $2 billion in profit. A credit card processing company doing $4 or $5 billion a year. A delivery company in 2016, he goes, look, let's create and build a delivery company that Uber Eats and DoorDash, they'll want to purchase us. And he built a delivery company that became an Inc. 500 company. And not only that, merged with Delivery.com. And he now is the number one franchisee in the world for Delivery.com. And then a software company. And he has oil wells and real estate. And I'm like, Tony, it's crazy because, you know, I know I knew you had done well. I didn't know how well you had done. And, and because you don't you don't show off all these things on social media, you're very humble. So when he called me up and said, Darren, I'm gonna fly out to Utah and be with the number one blockchain, level one blockchain guy in the world. We're gonna talk about blockchain, we're gonna talk about nodes. And he's like, Do you wanna go with me? My first thing was, you know what? I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you're asking me to jump on your private jet, fly to Utah, hang out with multiple people that have done billions and impacted the world to learn, I would love to do that. 
And so I flew out and that's how I got involved in the projects I'm going to share with you, you know, today. But as you know, they don't teach us in school how to recognize the next big opportunity. They don't teach us how to recognize a trend to position yourself in front of that trend. Tony just has a knack for that. And, and I heard a mentor of mine say many years ago, said, Darren, opportunities go through three phases. Number one, they're ridiculed. Number two, they're violently opposed. And then number three, they're self-evident. But only 3% get involved in the first two most profitable phases, which is ridiculed and violently opposed. So let me, let me just say this. I'm looking at Randy and I'm looking at Lonnie. Can you imagine years ago, if we went, if I went to you, if somebody came to us and go, hey, Randy and Lonnie, listen, you know how we were raised never to get into a stranger's car? You know how our parents taught us, do not let strangers get into your car? I've got this phenomenal business model. What do you think about us getting people to pay to jump in a stranger's car? What do you think about us getting people to get excited about letting strangers get in their car? We just said that is the stupidest business model you could ever come up with, Darren. Why would you think that's going to work? Well, that's Uber. The largest taxi service in the entire world owns no cars. Well, then look at Airbnb. Hey, well, I've got a better idea. What if we encourage people to pay to stay in your house? You have strangers stay in your home. What about you going to stay in a stranger's home? We just said that is another stupid business model. Or it could be like the guy that I met in Northern Virginia. I live in Virginia. And I met this guy that was in the book, Chicken Soup for the Entrepreneurial Soul. And he started trying to sell cell phones in the late 80s. So here we are. You can imagine if I went to, you know, one of you on the Zoom tonight back in the late 80s. You go, hey, listen, I want to tell you about this amazing product called a cell phone. There's several thousand dollars. We have very few towers, so the reception is terrible. You're going to pay several dollars a minute. That was the late 80s. People said, look, it's never going to work. That, why would you do that? Why not just wait till you get home? And in the early 90s, AT&T, he had, he had 12 little 300-square-foot cell phone stores, all losing money. And AT&T paid him $14 million for those 12 stores losing money. So Vision is seeing it before the masses see it. So I've learned from my experience how I went from bankrupt to being blessed to making, you know, multiple seven figures and doing the great things that my wife and I've been blessed to be a part of. I learned that when I hear about something and it's not normal, I don't understand it. My initial reaction is that's probably not going to work. That's when I should pay attention because that's where the opportunity is. It's not now if I go, hey, look, let's talk about making money with cell phones and mobile phones. You're not going to be excited because it's very difficult to make a living selling cell phones now, let alone making a fortune to sell cell phones. So when I started looking into the space we're going to talk about in the next few minutes, I'm like, this is exactly where I've wanted to be my entire life. And what's funny is seven months ago, I said, none of this is for me. I don't really know of anyone that would be interested because I don't understand it. I don't know how it's going to impact the world. I don't even know how I would be a part of it. And then the rest is history. Uh, what I did was actually, and I'll, I'll tell you more of my story as we go through um, some of these things. Now, um, and just a couple more I have listed for the fun of it. The Internet, right? Back when the Internet, some of you remember when the Internet launched, and people are like, well, who owns the Internet? Well, no one owns the Internet. It's a highway to distribute information. Okay, how do we participate in this magical world of the Internet? And it wasn't until AOL started sending out these little CDs in the mail, right, where people had gave them a pathway to jump on the Internet to be able to now get information instantly. Right? We used to have to wait for the weatherman to tell us at night on one of our three channels, we had a big old antenna on top of our house. You would have to rotate to get good reception to find out what the weather was going to be like in our area for the next few days. Now I can click on a button and tell you what the weather is in Hawaii, Puerto Rico, any country. We know stock prices. We know game scores. We know everything instantly. 
So the internet was one of those places that we know the people that participated in that disruption because they saw the vision before the rest of us did. People like Zuckerberg, the largest content provider, owns no social, owns no content. Uber, the largest taxi service, owns no cars. Airbnb competed with the with the hotel industry. They own no hotels. These other people's properties, other people's cars with Uber. If you look at cell phone towers, we're going to talk about that here in just a second, or Netflix. So let me share my screen with you. And we're going to go from here. All right. So let's see. Let me see if I can see if you can. Somebody give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to look for somebody who has a camera. All right, Lonnie, I can see Lonnie. All right, so let's talk about Connect. Connect is a platform, just like AOL sent out the CD-ROMs, that showed us how to participate in the Internet. Hey, what is the, what is the pathway? What is the exit where we want to get on the highway and we want to get on the interstate? Well, with blockchain projects, blockchain is the way to transfer value. The Internet transferred information instantaneous at real time. With Connect, it is the sales and marketing platform where you're going to see there's about 12 to 15 different projects. And we have new projects I'm going to tell you about tonight. You are getting ready to launch and you'll be some of the first to hear about those projects. If you look at blockchain technology, Uber used other people's cars, Airbnb used other people's homes. Blockchain uses other people's computers. And there's a slide, for example, coming up in just a second that I'll give you an example of how the cell phone industry used my family's land, just like blockchain uses other people's computers. Now, we'll warn you, once you hear about the blockchain, it's like you never noticed how many cars are on the road like the one you're driving until you bought it. Anybody else have that happen or is it just me? They were there before, but it's the reticular activating system, RAS for short. Your brain is designed to block most of the things out and only allow things in that serve your goals. So you see what you're looking for. Now that I'm mentioning blockchain, you're going to start hearing about BlackRock getting involved, uh, Fidelity. You're going to hear about Bitcoin, the halving that's coming up in April. It's all over the news. You're going to start hearing people like I have recently talking about the digital gold rush. You're going to start hearing how people are going, look, our grandchildren will never know what it's like to use paper money. They're going to use what? You use paper for money? That's the craziest thing I've ever experienced. My wife and I are driving down the highway the other day, and she's getting a text. Like, what are you doing? Because I saw her, I saw money. And she's like, I'm transferring money to the children to go get something to eat, right? Digitally transferring that money. We didn't have to, they, we didn't have dollars, dollar bills, right? So our grandkids will not know what it's like to use paper for money. And so when you look at the blockchain, not only is it safer, it's the technology of which cryptocurrency is built. It's growing, it's adopted faster than any technology in history. So it's growing faster than the internet back in 1996. So it's easy to say now, oh my gosh, I wish that I was involved in the internet when it first got started. I wish I was involved and they would allow me to invest in Uber or Airbnb or Microsoft or Apple. When they first got started, we didn't do that. We missed it. That ship has sailed. But when you look at blockchain growing faster than those and, and adopted faster than any technology in history, and it's impacting Every single industry in the entire world, matter of fact, I printed off the front page of an article from the World Economic Forum in 2021. Here's the title. Blockchain could disrupt $867 trillion in traditional businesses. There are now 420 million cryptocurrency users or owners worldwide. And Elon Musk said, look, it's, far, it's a far better way to transfer value than a piece of paper, that's for sure. How do you participate? We're going to talk about becoming a node owner. Now, some of you, you may be like I am. Six, seven months ago, I go, I don't even know what that is, <laughs> right? Sorry, a little node humor there. And I felt embarrassed, but I'm like, am I supposed to know what that is? 
But then they explained it to me that made so much sense. So being a node owner is something that you can just do and we'll show you how you can host it in the cloud, not even have to put it on your computer. And yet you have the ability to generate rewards and then you can help other people become node owners as well. And this is happening so fast. I was recently at a dealership and the manager's like, hey man, how's business going? And I go, hey, I'm really excited about blockchain. Believe it or not, I didn't even know what it really meant seven months ago. And he's like, man, I love blockchain. So he's like, can you give me some information? I sent him a couple of videos he's like, hey, I want to get some nodes. That was so easy. I was uh, in Charlotte this weekend talking to another guy. He's like, hey, what do you do? I said, well, I'm really excited about some blockchain projects. And he's like, man, I have been researching and learning more and more and more. I would love to know more about how I could be involved in some of those projects. So what is a node? Remember we talked about Airbnb used other people's homes, Uber used other people's cars. Well, when we had a cell phone company reach out to us and go, look, we can't buy land all over the world and we don't need to buy land all over the world. We just come to people like you and they're paying us a lot of money over several years to use a little small part of our land to put one of their towers. How many of you would love to have that? Let me tell you what's really nice because it doesn't bother us at all if you can't even see it. And yet we got paid a lot of money to allow them to put that on our property. If you look at, for example, you go to get an Uber. When you, when you click that you want an Uber and it looks for the type of car, do you want an SUV, do you want a car? It looks for the route, it, it, it just, it takes the payment. It, the ratings, all of those are computer transactions. So what a node is, is you're using other people's computing power, which now the technology has evolved where you can actually, it's software. So you're purchasing software. When they use your software, your cell phone tower, you're getting rewarded because it's your tower. The same difference, even though it sounds strange at first, you're like, that makes sense. They used other people's cars for Uber, other people's houses for Airbnb, other people's properties for a cell phone tower. I can purchase a node and I get rewarded for the transactions that happen on my node. Now you can pause this on the replay. You can take a screenshot. These are the disclaimers, right? When I talk about it, I go, look, high risk, high reward. Some of the things we're going to talk about, we're getting ready to launch. They're forward looking statements, right? And I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm going to say, do your own research and then make the decision based off of the information that you receive and what you feel is best for you. Now, if you look at our, blo our, our legal team called Blockade, I'll just bring one person to your attention. If you look up Ken Cuccinelli, he was the former attorney general for the state of Virginia. He was the head of Homeland Security Department. What was it? Homeland Security for Virginia or for our country back in 19 through 2021, I believe. But again, if you Google him, you will see we've got massive legal power, making sure that we do the right things, okay? Which is important for me because I'm not in this just to be in it for a short period of time. When I'm putting everything on my life in pause, on pause, when it comes to the businesses and everything that I've been doing for years to go all in on this, understanding the timing of what we have, I want to make sure it's going to be around. Now let's talk about just a few of those 12 to 15 projects. This is one example. So if you go, hey, look, give me some of the projects and like quick little overview, like one slide a piece. That's what we're going to do. So Galvin is a project that focuses on your health. So not only do I have an app that I can go on every day that rewards me for getting heart minutes that rewards me for doing all of these, it's called proof of action, great things for my health and I earn rewards. The rewards at first, like monopoly money. I look at rewards and again, if you read that article, how blockchain tokenization is going to disrupt $867 trillion in this space. You think about your credit card. I went to get gas. I'm like, I can use my debit card, I have the money, but wait a minute, why don't I use my American Airlines card? 
because I want to earn rewards and miles to be able to transfer into money to be able to buy my wife and I tickets to go to Hawaii and Florida and all the fun places we like to travel. So when it comes to the Galvin app, they're rewarding you for doing the right things to improve your health. I can speak into this every day. I get rewards for doing a daily mental health check-in. And when I speak into it for 20 seconds, it hits 2,500 AI data points. And you can't fake it because I've tried. It'll tell you your energy, your mood, and your stress. Then it will take and give you recommendations on how to improve those. Galvin is working to where they can put your medical records on the blockchain. Right now, we don't own our medical records. The doctor's office owns the medical records. The hospital owns our medical records. They monetize our medical records. Can you imagine when you go to the doctor and you could give them a link that's on the blockchain and it gives them everything about your medical history, all your records. Then when you're done, you press a button and it's no longer available to them because you own your medical records and not them. Now you understand why everything is going to the blockchain. Everything is going to the blockchain and it's disrupting $867 trillion in traditional businesses. Grow. I was just in Puerto Rico. Okay, so Grow, for example, Will Taylor is one of the guys heading up this project and met with him out in Puerto Rico. And we're seven minutes away from a farm, one of their farms, that you can actually go and use your rewards to purchase produce and beef, you know, fruits and vegetables, all that great stuff. Because right now, if we look, we don't even know where food's coming from. There's about 10 conglomerates that are listed on this slide. They control our food. Do you know that some of our food is being shipped all the way to China, our chicken, and it's being processed and set back? We don't know what we're eating. So how would you like to be a part of GROW with this project where they're tracing the world's food? So you go down, you go to eat your steak, you scan this QR code, Farm Tracer will tell you this beef was raised in Omaha at this specific farm. It was, there was no antibiotics used. It was free range. It ate this many pounds of grass. It ate this many pounds of fresh olives. That's why you're tasting that fresh smoky flavor. Like you know exactly where your food came from. And you can even find all the local places that have the same uh, beef or the same produce. So that's a phenomenal project. And when I tell you that I'm highlighting these projects, when I went to Utah, I sat in a room for two days where each of these projects went an hour to two hours going through many slides, talking about all the things that they're doing. There's a farm here in Virginia. I just heard on a Zoom a little while ago that within the next couple of weeks, you'll be able to order direct from these farms. So you can have them shipped to you at a fraction of the price and you know where your food is coming from and what's in your food. Element, okay, this guy, if you're a Discovery Channel watcher, okay, he was in Jungle Gold and he saw all the crazy things that were happening in the mining world. They're using children, the blood diamonds, all of that stuff, what they're doing to the earth. So when, when I talk about these projects, these are people like, this is my baby. And so now they're working on ethical mining when I was just in Puerto Rico again, they had Tiff, um, sorry, yeah, Tiffany's number, I think it was number seven, most expensive diamond. Why would they have that? Because what they did in the mining world, they came up with these certificates because everyone, when they started purchasing these diamonds and different things, I want to make sure no children were used in the mining. But you can fake your certificate. You cannot fake the blockchain. So they want to put their stuff on the blockchain, which is really exciting. You have Switch. Okay, this lady, one of the most powerful ladies I've ever met, one of the nicest people I've ever met. She's the co-founder and creator of Discover Card. How many of you have heard of Discover Card? Well, she served as the president and chief of operations for Discover Bank from 2000 to 2006. Now, what she's doing with this project is she's working in emerging the digital currency space. Okay, so she serves on the board of several of the projects, but this is the whole banking system that is a wallet and a platform where we can have grandmother go to the bank, swipe a debit card, and it immediately converts that crypto into USDT. And you go, well, 
how does it work? I don't know. How many of you are like me and you don't understand how the internet works? You don't understand HTML, but we still use it. All I know is when I press the button in my car, it starts. I have no idea how that works, right? So here, they don't have to understand digital currency. They don't have to understand crypto. This project is based around that. Rev rides. I don't know how many of you saw that Uber on, I think it was Valentine's Day, they got really ticked off all the drivers because they're messing with their money and they went on strike. Well, we're going to decentralize and, and have ride share. Now, what does it mean when you decentralize something? There's no owner. There's no company. The node owners own it. It's one node, one vote, which means they're always going to vote for the right thing. So now we have Rev Rides, which, by the way, is testing in Miami as we speak. And I think they just opened up a second city. OK, and, and again, Tony had a delivery company, right? A delivery company. He, you had to have a customer. You had to have a driver and you had to have a restaurant with ride share. You need a driver and you need a customer. So now you're at the airport. And instead of doing Uber, you're like, why would I drive ride Uber when I can ride with Rev Rides? Not only is it not fifty dollars, it's forty five, let's say. It's $5 cheaper. I can press one button and buy Rev tokens. I get rewarded. You get rewarded for driving, riding with Rev. The driver gets rewarded for driving for Rev rides. You rate the driver, you get additional rewards, right? They're rewarding the right behaviors. The driver rates you. The driver gets extra rewards. And then the node owners own it. Uber doesn't own it. So they can vote to make positive changes do whatever they want to do that's going to be great for the community. And by the way, let's say you're in Puerto Rico, you're in Virginia, you're in Texas at one of these farms. You can have Rev tokens and convert it to grow tokens and purchase your produce and purchase your beef. So all of these projects, if you look at Ethereum, there's 600 projects, but they're all basically competing against one another. We're on the Connect platform. We have about 15 projects, but their goal is a thousand and they support one another, which is even more powerful. Now, if you recognize this guy, okay, it's not the hair club for men. That's me. Okay. So I will be the CEO for the new project called rally. And right now we're on a zoom platform. None of us cared what platform we're going to use tonight, whether it was zoom, go to meeting, Google Meet. it doesn't matter. But what if we have a platform that is decentralized, it's on the blockchain, it's secure. And every time you're on here, if I had rally tonight, I could actually give every single one of you in your wallet free rewards. And then you have those rewards. And what if it goes up in value the next several months, right? So if you're earning rewards and you're becoming loyal to your own platform, why would you ever want to use anything else? Like I've been on the phone, every entrepreneur that we're talking to, it's the craziest thing I've ever experienced. They want to throw money at us to get these nodes and we're not even in launch. We're in pre-launch, right? So like, look, how can I send you $25,000, $100,000 or more? Because they understand this is going to be global instantly. Every entrepreneur is going to want to use it instantly, right? They're never going to use, want to use another platform because they're earning rewards by using the platform and sharing the platform. So that's in pre-launch. Rev and Rally are in pre-launch right now. Here's how it starts. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up in just the next few minutes. It all starts for free. Okay, with the person that invited you tonight, you can get their connect link directly to them, set up a free account, free. You can go in the back office at that point, and then you can look at share and there's videos in each of these projects and more. I just highlighted a few of them. Okay, then you can have your own invite link to start sharing with other people. I was on a Zoom just a couple hours ago with two, three people, all of them very successful, but the one of them that's already purchased nodes shared with the friend. The friend's like, hey, if I jump on, can I invite another friend to listen? So we've got three friends, or one, no, actually one didn't know the other two. The third person that was invited, like, hey, how do I go ahead and get started? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. We got to make sure the other guy gets started first, right? That's how fast this is growing when people are hearing about a, a, a technology that's growing faster than the internet in 1996, how it's going to make a positive impact all over the world. Number one, they go, how do I participate, right? <clears throat> so what you can do 
is you can purchase. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about this now. And we'll, we'll close it up. Okay, so how do you participate? Number one, you set up a free account. Number two, you decide, hey, look, what projects am I passionate about? Now, when all the all the nodes, there's a hundred thousand nodes in each project. So some of the people that are involved in these projects, they were a part of Gala Nodes, Gala Games, which is Farmville Gala Games. They started back in 2018. They had 10 people that helped launch those projects. They have now done 500 billion transactions. It's now not a team of 10 people. It's a team of 200 people. And <clears throat> some of those people got involved when they first started earning rewards. They were worth it was like monopoly money. It's like getting Apple stock back in the day when it was pennies. It's like getting Bitcoin when it was just pennies a coin and it just hit a trillion dollar market cap. It was at 70 some thousand all time high and they're projecting it to grow multiple times that in the next 12 to 24 months. So that those gala nodes that they purchased that software, right? It ended up going from 0 0.00 something of a penny to 80 some cents at 500 X. No, it may go to nothing, but when you're looking at these projects, these are not some meme coin that Elon Musk tweeted about. These are real legit projects that have proof of action, that have real, real value in what they do as far as their impact from your food to your health, to the systems that you're using, just like right now with Zoom. And so what you can do with each of those projects, there's 100,000 nodes, and then that's it. And every hundred that are sold, it goes up a hundred dollars and it maxes out at $25,000 a node. Now, why am I sharing that with you? Gala, you can't buy a node now. If you do, it has to be from an individual and it's going to cost you a hundred to $125,000 for that node. What we have projects from $500 to the most expensive right now is 9,000. So the win node is one that doesn't have a limit because it's the token, the reward that is on the sales and marketing platform. If we only had 100,000 nodes, there's only 100,000 people that could ever participate. That's not going to work, right? So these are the ones, every other node, when you purchase it, you never purchase it again. You're like, hey, look, I can put it on my computer and let my computer run six hours a day. Or you can do like most people, when you purchase your node, you can go to Block Fabric. It takes less than five minutes. Block fabric is $4.95 a month for a node. You can host it straight in the cloud. All of my adult kids have nodes. They're all hosted in the cloud. All of my nodes are in the cloud. I don't have to worry about my computer staying on for at least six hours a day. So that win node is the only one that renews every year. And here's the exciting thing. Normally it's $2,000. Right now there's a promotion. You can buy up to five for only $500. So when you go to purchase, it is all in the back office. The person that invited you can help you with that. <clears throat> and then here's the best part. How do you renew that win node? They have a learn to earn uh, course and program. If you don't have the win node, you can't do this. If you have the win node, every year you can go through this training because we want you compliant. We want you educated. And you can use those rewards to pay for that node. So that's exciting. Then when you look at the other projects, for example, whether it's Galvin, whether it's Switch, just look at them, watch the videos, see what's most, uh, what, what resonates with you, what hits your heart. Now with those nodes, there's two ways. You can buy a node and just let it run. Just make sure it's running. You'll see the rewards come in daily and you can go from there. So that's what I love. Hey, my kids are not going to go out and tell other people about nodes, my adult children. But I know that they can have a node. And I saw what happened with Gala. And I talked to the people that actually experienced and went from hardly nothing to 500x. And I go, man, if this only did a fraction, I think personally, it's going to do more than that. But I'm not a financial advisor. I don't want you listening to me. That's why I say high risk, high reward. That's up to you. But I believe it enough to where I got all my kids' notes. And then I've had one of my children that he's so excited. He's bought his own. He's up to 10 notes now himself without dad, right? Because he sees the potential of setting up his family. But then if you see the ability, hey, look, I would love to tell, here's where I am as I close out. 
There's been things that I've been a part of before where I'm selling a vitamin, a, a skincare, or whatever. And I would love for you to be a part of it, but I really didn't feel the commitment that if I didn't go share with Ruben, then I'm going to feel guilty. But I had a friend of mine that several years ago said, Darren, I want to smack you. And I'm like, Vicki, why? She's like, why didn't you tell me when you joined that company? And I'm like, well, Vicki, I didn't think you'd be interested. And I, and I went on to make millions of dollars in that company. And she goes, well, you shouldn't have thought. We were looking for something. We were praying for something. If you would have shared the opportunity and we said, no, that's on me. But you didn't even give me the opportunity to say no. So where I am right now, you can tell I'm excited, I'm hot, my head's red, right? Because I believe, in, and again, that's what I love about like camera. You can tell if I mean what I'm saying. You can tell it. You, there's no faking it with me. And so here I am right now going, listen, everybody I know, love, and care about, everyone, I don't care if they do it. I really don't. That's completely up to them. <clears throat> I go, but what I don't want is to see them this Christmas and them going, if you knew, why didn't you tell me? Darren, you're meaning to tell me that you had a technology that's going faster than the internet, right? And then you had the Bitcoin halving that's coming up. And so then you have the ETFs and you got BlackRock and you got Fidelity. And then you're seeing articles about the digital gold rush. And then you're seeing how everything's going to a digital currency. And then we're seeing projects that can impact the world from what we eat to our health, to our medical records and on and on and on. And you didn't even think to share it with me. Why? I would have shared it with you. Why didn't you share it with me? So my thing now is how fast can I take people from not knowing to knowing and then let them make the decision? I have a voicemail that I'm not getting rid of off my phone. I even screenshot it. It's, it's 8-23-2021. It's from Tony. And he said, Darren, listen, when I call people, I don't tell them this, but when I believe in something, if I call you, it's because I believe in it. And I'm offering you opportunity and I'm offering you regret. It is completely up to you what you choose. He left me a message that day. Now, my mom was, was sick and she ended up passing away. I never called him back. The, he was telling me about the accounting company he was launching and the vision of where it was going to go. I still have the voice message. I chose regret. I never called him back. The friends of his that took it, that took him up on that offer, I know them. I've spoken to them. The last two years, they made 50 to $100 million each year. When I saw this opportunity, like the ability to have notes, hey, look, my friends and family, they don't have to go sell pills, potions, and lotions if they don't want to. If they want to, great. I'll, I'll encourage them. I'll support them. But if they just want to buy a note, they just want to be a note owner. If they want to buy five notes or 10 notes like my son. They can do that. But if they do see the opportunity, I just started sharing this with friends and family like six weeks ago. Didn't even understand it. Lucas Carnes was giving me a hard time going, Darren, I asked you how to buy one months ago. You said you didn't know how. <laughs> I didn't. I had nodes. I didn't know what to do. And so, but then I started seeing my rewards accumulate to millions of rewards. Look, Monopoly money worth 0 0.0015 a penny Per, per reward. But then I'm like, wait a minute. If I multiply that times 500, yesterday was a great year. If that goes up 500X, then I started sharing it. The last six weeks, I generated more income, not even by accident. Because when you share a no with someone, you start out making 10%. If you have someone, if, if all of a sudden, I can only see a few of you, if Lori buys five notes for me tonight for 500 bucks a piece and I just got started, I go to the 20%. So there were people today saying, I want 25,000 of this node. I want 100,000. That's not everybody. That's not most people. But these are people going, look, I see the vision. Well, if you're getting 10%, 20%, the last six weeks have been the biggest six weeks of my entire career launching anything. And no, that's not an income claim. No, that's not a promise. I'm sharing with you my personal experience and why I'm passionate about it. So no matter why, no matter why you're on here tonight, today, get back with a person and say, look, it's not for me. Number one, thank you for thinking of me. Because when we said, who are the people you care, love about, respect the most, they thought of you. So even if it's not for you, thank them. 
if you say, hey, look, I don't really want to go out and promote it, but I'd love to know more about the nodes and start and buy that software. And by the way, Tony said it's a, it's a, it's a tax write-off. It's a software purchase, off-the-shelf software. He can tell you the tax code. I can't. I'm not a CPA, but he has a bunch of CPAs at his accounting firm that can tell you that. So when Tony bought $53 million in nodes, right, he got a 20-some million dollar tax savings. Now, again, you're not putting anything in. Tony's like, look, only put in what you're willing, what you could lose and still be okay. He's like, if I lost 50-some million, it would stink, but I would still not change my life, right? Now, that's Tony. <clears throat> so you could be a node owner. That's not me. Probably not you. Maybe, I don't know. Or if you're like, you know what? I do want to be a node owner and show me how to share this with other people. Because one, I believe in, I believe in the projects. I want to make an impact all over the world. The rally technology, when we launched the Zoom-like technology, let me just let me just tell you this. That technology will be global instantly. Every entrepreneur that we've talked to so far, every one of them said, I want it. People that have companies of thousands of people said, look, we will have everybody have that technology immediately. These are projects that are going to move really fast. And so if you like what you see, get back with the person that invited you and let them know what category you're in. Get your free account. Watch the videos. We can help you get your notes set up tonight while the promotion is going on with the, you know, the $1,500 coupon off of each of those win notes. And I appreciate your time. Yes, I know I went longer than I projected. Right. But you can tell that I'm passionate. I wanted to give you enough information to make an educated decision. However, I will tell you that you're not you. You may have more questions than you have answers by this time. That was me. It's OK to take imperfect action. I did. It's OK to not know everything. Vision is seeing it before the masses see it. If everybody saw what you saw right now by being on here, there wouldn't be the opportunity. Just like cell phones, just like Uber, just like Airbnb, just like Microsoft, just like Apple, just like Netflix and Blockbuster. Blockbuster laughed Netflix out of the conference room. Blockbuster is gone. Netflix dominates. So Vision is seeing it before the masses see it. That's why they ask Helen Keller, what's worse than being blind, having sight with no vision. Or the late Dr. Miles Moreau said, sight is a function of the eyes. Vision is a function of the heart. So if you have the vision, you're ready to lock arms with us. We'd love to work with you. If not, it's okay. Thank you for your time. At least you know what the person is doing that invited you, and you can always send them back to them. So appreciate you. Have an amazing rest of your night, and we'll see you soon.